Hello everyone. I'm out in our garden for our first prayer spaces today. I'm actually in our little Easter garden that we made at Easter here. And I'm outside because it's so lovely to be outside at the moment, isn't it, when we can. And it's a great place for our first prayer space. So our first prayer space is called Bubble Worries and it's one of my favourites. It's a prayer space that helps us take the things that are on our hearts and in our minds that we're worried about and lift them to God and ask for his help and his peace. So you're going to need something to help you with this. You just need some bubbles. You might have some of these lying around in your house, I don't know, from a party that you had in a party bag or something. Or you can pick them up. I got these really cheap in Tesco the other day. Um, but if you don't have any, you can make your own. Um, I've made my own solution here. And I'll put a, a picture up on the screen now to show you what I used. It was really simple. One quarter of a cup of washing up liquid, three quarters of a cup of water and one teaspoon of sugar. And that sugar just helps it uh, to stick together really. Um, now before you go using any of that stuff make sure you check with an adult in your house because otherwise you might get to tea time and there'll be nothing to wash the pots with so make sure there's enough to use. But go and either make your own bubbles or get some and come back for this video. Oh hang on you need something to blow your bubbles with. If you don't have a wand you can make something just like this. This is a pot bottle and stuck onto it is some mesh, uh, some mesh netting from a bag of oranges and I just used some sellotape to put all that together to use to blow the bubbles through. So if you don't have a bubble wand, make one of these and I'll see you back in a minute. So have you got your bubbles, whichever kind? Good. So in this prayer, we take a little bit of time and we get really still. You might want to close your eyes. I'm going to close mine because it helps me to pray. And bring into your mind those things that you're worried about at the moment. And you might find it helpful to tell God about what you're worried about. And to tell him why you're worried. If you don't know what words to use, that doesn't matter. You can just tell God the feeling, or you can show God a picture in your mind. Bring up a picture in your mind of the person or whatever it is that you're worried about. And God will be able to see that picture that you're showing God. And then when you're ready and you've got those worries in your mind, get your bubbles. Dig out your wand and blow your worries away. Oh, wow. <laughs> and those bubbles are blowing all the way up to the sky. I don't know if yours are. It makes me think as they rise up of how they go up to God and God hears them. Should we see what my big bubbles are like? Now, I don't think these are going to go as far because they're going to form a bit of a cluster, I think, with all of this mesh. But let's have a go. Remember, breathe in when you're not so close. Oh, wow. Look at those. Woo! I tell you what, with these ones, if they won't blow away, maybe we could pop them and imagine that God was popping the bubbles with God's peace. Let's try that again. And imagine that God is giving us his peace. Because there's a verse in the Bible that says, cast your worries on God because he cares for you. And we know that God is listening when we say these prayers. But you might also want to ask God to give you some help. Because while it's good to tell God about what's on our hearts and minds, sometimes we need to talk to someone about it too. So you might want to ask God to give you the courage to tell someone, an adult that you trust, about what you're thinking and feeling at the moment. Because when we share our worries, they often get a lot, lot lighter. So I hope you've enjoyed this prayer space and we'll see you soon for some more. In the meantime, God bless you all. Bye.